Well, hello, boys and girls. Today we're gonna be talking about healthy lifestyle. So, I wanted to have a look with you at the. Ta da! That's right. Lovely bananas. The Brown Multi Quick 9. And uh, they say it has a motor with 1200 watts. Uh, and it comes with four accessories. That's the brown. See, it's a little, written a little bit different right here. It's multi quick. That's what you need to know. That's what you need to look for. So let's have a look at the side over here. Um, yeah, so you get the advanced smart speed, and we're going to be looking at that. Featuring an extra large control button for better uh, handling and comfort. Uh, active blade up to six times finer blending final blending results and uh, delivers precise results and ease of use on a variety of tasks right so i'm gonna be adjusting this little camera right here so you can see it more this one so unboxing for the first time it's a little bit tight in here but once we unpack this little bad boy, whoop, you get an extremely huge manual here that you have to study before you start this. It's like an airplane manual. I don't need that. Yeah. All right, the good stuff. So you get the machine itself. That looks a little bit plasticky right here. Um, I need this one to stop the bone. I, I'm not really sure if I should keep this the whole time just to, uh, you know, prevent any accidental pushing to the buttons. But like, who would keep that, you know? Uh, and then we have the blades here. A lot of packaging garbage. Um... So I would say this is uh, probably some, some sort of uh, stainless steel, but also treated for, uh, for rusting. I'm not sure if the knife is also, but it should be rust free. Um, nonetheless, I would say if I would want to wash this one, uh, I would take a towel and dry, dry it away. Dry this whole area just to make sure that it's gonna, um, Stay longer. Uh, more garbage. And I know that this one can be pushed, so you don't have to go up and down yourself. You would just be pressing this on the bottom of your container. Uh, and then what you would do is just like that. And that, of course, will move the blades right there. All right. Lovely bananas. Well, the machine itself it seems a little bit uh, heavy from that side, so I guess the motor is probably located in the lower part. Um, I'm not sure what that does, but probably you can set the speeds. Uh, can you press here? Big question, probably not. Yes, you can. So you would assume this is uh, for pulsating, so... <laughs> like that uh and this one to lock it yeah a little bit digital right here and uh, of course these are the release buttons press them together to release the accessory uh so we got a chopper container and we got the blades uh, somewhere yeah it's like right there more trash yeah probably so probably setting this one up is not much of a problem. Uh, so the most intuitive way is to take the blade and just uh, place it here, but probably that's not gonna work because do you, have, you see that kind of mechanism. It will go in one direction, but it wouldn't go in the other, right? Probably see it here. I haven't used the chop for so long, so if you would ask me the question why, I have no idea. We have to try that together. 
Uh, this one seems to be like a, it's a very thick blade and I'm, I don't feel it's sharp or anything, just thick. So I don't really know what it does. We need the manual, guys. So what is the manual saying about all that? Um, right, so I guess we get a little table here that might be very useful. Oh, lots of tables. Uh, different blades, you can chop parmesan, onions, chili, almonds. And it would tell you, um, so that's what it's going to say. It's going to say 300 grams, 350 uh, using that container if that's what you're taking in your package. Um, that's the MC1, so what you would get with this variety. Link is going to be down below. Um, 350, so you would be using that kind of speed for 20 seconds to get the nuts into probably a butter. We'll see. Um, for the golf. A little bit of German air. parts and accessories, the whiskey accessory, switch non active blade shaft, that little guy, the whisk accessory, we don't have that, we do, that is the whisk accessory, ladies and gents, if you want to use that at some point in the future, this little piece seems very heavy, it's out of plastic, but it's really heavy, probably, hmm, you do that, you use that here probably, I guess, yeah. So you see snaps in, just like that, all right? And then you would attach this bad boy over here and uh, start whisking, whatever you want to whisk. Active blade, whisk accessory. What else have we got in here? A coffee and spice grinder. Is that it? We also have a little container right there. Should we switch it on? Parts. Coffee and spice grinder. But then we have two blades and I'm not sure. Do we have a description for the two blades that we got? I mode BC. Um... Right, so with this one will come like two blades, B and C. Mm. MC, B, C. Right, that would require a little bit of a search. But for now, this is going to be your main chopping knife. And be careful when you take it off because it's got a little bit stuck and I think it's very sharp. Yeah, see that side is straight on the plastic. Mm, not that sharp really, I mean, it's fine. I can sharpen it a little bit more than that. Yeah, that's the kind of damage you get. Right. So also the blade would take a little bit of effort just to push it in. I really don't know why. Do we have a cover for this? Yes, we do. Okay, we're gonna be uh, doing some almonds butter. Right, I'm so excited to plug it in.
I would recommend to plug it in uh, before you attach any accessory. I don't know what the manual is saying, but that seems to be the safest way to do things. Because when you connect it, uh, plug it into power, then you would want to pretend that you accidentally pushed on a button. It says he unlocked, I don't know what that means, maybe it can detect the accessory and that's what I really like to find out. But I press on that and nothing's happening. Like, so like, you, you get three options, you can pulsate, low speed, high speed and that's the lock. All right. Not sure if you guys can hear it, but it is quiet and I like quiet stuff. I don't like loud things. I don't like Dyson, you know. You buy a Dyson, you pay so much for it, and then you end up, you know, living with a beast that is producing so much noise. But this one is pretty neat. So when you leave it for a while, what's going to happen is that it's going to probably, most likely, lock itself, if you can see that. There's nothing you can do here. Can I lock it back in? Yes. All right, now, so apparently, I don't think it can detect any accessories you can see, but what it can do is that if it stays, uh, if you keep it unused for some time, what's gonna happen that uh, it's gonna lock itself, all right? That's the dangerous sound right there. Let me change the speed. So actually with the pulsating, it's just some sort of a program. I pressed it once and as you can see, it pulsates. And it seems a little bit strong when it does that. Right. very interesting because you can uh, select the program pulsate and let me unlock it again i'm very curious about the logic of this lock right now it's unlocked or it's locked again because you leave it and then it, it locks itself so that's uh i think it's a really a safe product in that way I mean, in uh, very, very rare scenarios, you might not like something like that. But I guess once you take, once you take it off the, the, the container or whatever you're trying to mix, um, you leave it somewhere and then it locks itself. So it's pretty safe. So if you have like child or kids and don't know what's going on and they try to play a little bit with the knife here, you know, and someone else is probably playing with the buttons. Well, they probably have to figure it out first. They have to press on the unlock. <coughs> They've got to press on the uh, unlock button and then they can uh, play with the knives and probably get hurt. So hopefully that's not gonna happen. So this machine is considered safe compared to the others. I gotta tell you that. <coughs> so we can do blend some uh, smoothies here. I'm also very curious. I feel like it's not coming with any Covers, lids, no lids. How come? How dare you, Brown? All right, so you get some sort of uh, a free a free cup. You can drink coffee in here in the morning if you like. Um, but that is going to work like that. Not sure you could see the whole thing. Right. It's currently uh, locked, so there's nothing. You can change speed, of course, but there's nothing you can do. It won't start. So, I'm gonna be washing this and we're gonna be doing a lovely smoothie together. this. 
so just nice and easy. So the first thing that I'm gonna try to grind is almonds. I'm a big fan. I love almonds. They are some of my favorite snacks the whole day. And I love eating them also as uh, butter and whatnot. That's definitely not for a smoothie. Put a lot in here. It's quite a lot, but we have to test it. So let's see. All right. <clears throat> so I know you can't really see the buttons or you can, but I want to show you how it's pressed. All right, I'm unlocking. Now you can see what the blender is going to do. It's locked again, so I'm going to unlock it. It locks, it locks itself real quick. Hmm. Anyway, lower speed and I'm gonna... Okay, things fly. Things fly. I'm pressing so hard. So I'm pushing very hard and I feel like the machine <coughs> or the knife slows down a little bit. But it doesn't really stop completely. It locks itself again, I have to unlock it. Right, so I'm not sure it's really strong enough. I get a feeling that it's really normal, nothing special about it. And it locks itself constantly. Smells quite nice. So as you can see after all this time and all this effort, you can see some almonds in there, and I'm not really sure why. It might need some liquid, you know, it's very dense and it cannot reach, and you probably have to take the machine out, you know, steer things a little bit. But we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna add liquid so things can swim around, and then we can grind this. So I have got pineapple chunks here. We're gonna also be adding some raspberries and we're gonna also be <coughs> including another berry mix. Today is berries day. Woohoo! 
So I think actually the second test that I wanted to do is uh, cut this into half, get what's inside and try to crush it with this. I don't think it's gonna happen. And I think a regular blender is much more powerful. So the key takeaway here, do not look at the voltage rating of the motor. It is useless. All right, so we're gonna be adding some berries. So I should probably take the machinery out of the container. Or the beaker, if you want to call it. Um. <laughs> yeah, there is some grinding going on. Um, <clears throat> I probably need some liquid into that. So we have got oat milk, a little bit. A little bit. Is it going easier? Not sure if you guys can see it, but <coughs> the crushed almonds or the partially crushed almonds is a little bit stuck down there. But I think it's going is going great. Also it flies, like it splashes all over the way. some pineapples yeah my feeling so far towards this hand blender um, is that it, it is not really that strong that's my feeling most likely I'm going to return it and get a regular blender because I know they are powerful the proper ones of course Some people might ask, why didn't you take it out? And the answer is, um, it's going to create a whole mess in this very tight space. But eventually, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to get a plate and I'll have to take it out. And that's the only solution we have here. By the way, this part is getting very warm. So if you're not comfortable with this kind of feeling, uh, you're gonna have problems. All right, so these are, uh, as you can see, big chunks. But we need to take the machine out. This is a very nice mess. A little bit more, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Another thing I also don't like about this is that it splashes and I'm not sure if I'm using it the wrong way, but I don't really care. I don't like stuff that splash, especially food. 
um, that's probably enough. We just want to test this out and then we're going to see if it's going to be capable of grinding these when they are so icy. So as you can see, it's slowing down a lot. But also we tried to make it very thick just to see what it can do. seems like so much effort to make this so imagine you wake up and you just want to have a smoothie and you have to do all that instead a mixer is probably much more efficient so probably the only advantage if you want to do something quick uh, not a big quantity mm. also the usual mixers are a little bit big. It's getting a bit more. So I'm not even going to go through the rest because I think this machine is not powerful enough and um, if you want to spend £100 on a machine like this uh, because, I don't know, good product design and you like the brand and you like the colours right there, um, then go for it. Otherwise, um, myself, I'm going to be returning it because I don't like it. I think it's very slow and it doesn't have enough power. So... Uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions or um, any recommendations for next videos, make sure you put them down uh, in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Ta-da!